Hey everybody, it's Jake Mace with jakemace.com and there are three moves I want you all watching to practice right now if you have a wooden man or a wooden dummy, if you practice Wing Chun or if you practice traditional Shaolin style Kung Fu. The first move looks like this. You have your Wing Chun dummy right here, traditional setup. I want you to have left hand hooking out this way with the back of the wrist, maybe the base of the forearm, while the right hand punches in to the body. This is a video for simplicity. We have the hook, punch combination. Again, hook, punch. Simultaneous action, bent knees, center line square to the attacker. Blocking and striking. When I'm striking, I'm using the first two knuckles, I'm using the outer part of the wrist, and I want to train both sides, I would say at least 50 repetitions per side. Once you get that, hooking, striking simultaneous, hooking, striking simultaneous. I want you to bring in an attacker and do with a person. What's cool for this first move is I have a partner that's humongous, much bigger than me. I got Kyle with KarateMark.com here. So if I can penetrate to his center line, then I can penetrate to anybody's center line. So if Kyle's got his defensive position, he throws that right straight right in here. Again, causing lots of power and causing lots of streamlined, efficient movement toward me. I want to hook it and this punch simultaneously coming in on him. So my goal is not to block it too far, it's to block it just enough that it won't hit me in the face. If it grazes my ear, that's okay. Okay, it's called deflection. So again, hook and strike. Again, hook and strike. Do it again, hook and strike. Keep it going. So with you and your partner, I want you guys to go for about 50 reps until it's second in nature. What's wrong? 50 reps, sounds good. How's that solar plexus? It's beautiful. Does all that muscle help in the solar plexus? Not at all. <laughs> And the other side. <laughs> the second move is fantastic for the sparring. Let's apply it to the dummy. When we're here, the left hand comes in with the ulna, the pinky side of the bone, while the right hand is going low with the radius, the thumb side of the bone. I get this simultaneous block strike combination again. The good news is, as I'm using this wooden dummy, I'm strengthening my bones at the same time. Give me good feedback. So when I finally get to Kyle, he's gonna feel much weaker in comparison because this wood is tough. So let's bring the opponent in to show you guys how this move is done for real. Sometimes when we fight, it's not necessary to block. It's necessary to attack the attacker before they attack you. So if Kyle and I are squared off, I wanna to try to take the initiative sometimes. Okay, that's the tiger in us. Before he throws the attack, I'm gonna smother him and this hand is gonna lay right across the groin. So instead of going to the board, it's going into the groin. Again, he hasn't attacked yet. I take the initiative, and this comes right into the groin. Again, it'd be really good if he had a groin cup on. <laughs> One more time, cover and strike. And the cool thing is that once you hit him in the groin, they will forget about the sweep. Take him down to the floor. You right? Yeah. For our third and final technique, we have to condition the shins and we have to use leverage on our attacker. So when I got my good position behind my Mu Ren Zhuang, I'm going to take this hand right here, one over the top and one underneath. I got a good lock on the arm. I'm going to condition my shin, not hurting the shin, not hurting the skin, but I'm trying to vibrate the bone so that I heal stronger. And I'm getting used to pulling the arm for leverage. Other side, same thing. This is a very simple technique, but it's by far my favorite of the ones I'm gonna show you today. Let's bring in the attacker. I'll show you how it works. The first thing I'm gonna do when I apply this move toward the opponent, I'm gonna work on that arm control we worked on earlier with the wooden dummy. So one hand over the top, one hand underneath, and I have a good lock on the arm. I wanna pull him forward so his weight is right there, and then when I'm pulling him, I'm gonna create that leverage. The leg comes through as the arm goes back. Now, I could sit here all day long and just hack and hack away. And like the MMA guys do in the UFC, you might bruise the leg, cause a Charlie horse, and come round three, you might do some damage. Mm -hmm. But we wanna sweep him to the ground. So my goal is not to win on round three, my goal is to win on the first move, take out that leg, and keep the kick low enough where even a big guy get swept like pulling a carpet from underneath them, okay? All their weight, all their size crashes on top of them. And I have found over the years that when I have sparred and fought guys much, much bigger than me, 
big guys don't like getting knocked down. They get winded and tired pretty quick after the third knockdown. Again, we've got good arm control on the attack here. I'm getting good position behind. Keep the kick below his calf, but above the heel and a good simultaneous move of arm and leg going together. Okay, and then as he falls, you wanna also maintain good control of him as he falls down to the ground so that you are controlling his descent and staying in control. Thank you very much. Like, like that one? Yeah, it's good. I want you guys to take a note of this wooden dummy. It's very mobile, easy to use, good to cart around your dojo or your home. We've done a few Wing Chun and a few wooden dummy and a few Mu Ren Zhuang videos now on our YouTube channel here. So I want you guys to please hit the like button, subscribe. I'm gonna, boom, put a bunch of videos right here on the screen right now. You can click on and go watch some of our other wooden dummy videos. But people are always asking me in the comments. They're emailing me at jakemace.com. They're messaging me on Instagram and Snapchat which is at Jake Mace Tai Chi. Jake, where do I get one of these things? Well, this one's fantastic. It's mobile. You're gonna move it around the dojo or the home. And the link to order this one from KarateMart.com is down in the description below or the comments below this video. So check it out. If the price is right for you guys, order it. You won't be disappointed. This one has been used and beaten to hell and it still is standing the test of time. Thanks guys for watching. I will answer all your comments down below and I'll see you guys back here next time.